away, away. Stand up, old Jerusalem. It's time for y'all to stand up. It's time for y'all to stand up and wake up. All right, man up. Which has drunk at the hand of the Lord the cup of his fury. Thou hast drunk in the dregs of the cup of trembling and wrung them out. There is one, Zalakia, there is none to guide her among all the sons whom she has brought up. All right. So right now our people, there's none to guide our people. There was none to guide our people. But now the Most High is raising us up. The Most High is raising up to our people leaders and judges and counselors. Right? According to Isaiah 126, the Most High is raising back up judges. He's raising up leaders for y'all. Because our people, the Hebrew Israelites, you people of Negro and Indian descent, y'all lack leadership. So the Lord is giving y'all leaders now. He's raising up leaders and judges for y'all. All right? It says, there is none to guide her among all the sons whom she has brought forth. Neither is there any that taketh her by the hand of all the sons she has brought up. So of all the sons that came up of Israel, none to really hold our nation and walk with us, man. Understand? None to hold us and walk with us, to guide our path. There's none. All right? Verse 19. These two things are come unto thee. Who shall be sorry for thee? Right? Who's going to be sorry for you in what's to come? When there's anarchy and civil unrest here, who's going to be sorry for you? Why, when the Most High gave you, is, uh, when you send out his servants to y'all, and y'all don't hearken. When the Most High send out his servants and y'all don't hearken, who's going to be sorry for you when your judgment come upon you? All right? These two things are come unto thee. Who shall be sorry for thee? Desolation and destruction and the famine and the sword by who shall I put thee? Right. You hear that? Desolation, the famine, the destruction, and the sword. And that's all coming upon here. That's why all those legislations and acts and bills were passed. Right? When he passed the NDAA, the National Defense Authorization Act, right? That wasn't needed because Bush already signed in what's called uh, the Patriot Act. The Patriot Act covers all what the NDAA covers. So why would they sign that in? What they're doing is they're sealing up the breaches. If you slide through the crack of the Patriot Act, the National Defense Authorization Act got you. They're sealing up the breaches, man, and they're closing in. They're closing in, and they're sealing up the breaches. You understand? Verse 20. My sons have fainted. They lie at the head of all the streets as a wild bull in a net. Understand? That's what's going to take place too, man. Understand? You people... A big word in Indian descent, that's how y'all are going to be. Just like a bull that's caught in a trap, I mean that's caught in a net, he stumbled on his side and he's laying there and can't get up, trying to get up and can't get up, just like any animal who's caught in a net. Right? They trip over and stumble and lay there caught in the trap trying to get up and can't. That's y'all. And that's y'all. Understand? They are full of fury of the Lord. For the rebuke of thy power. And that's just the Lord. That's just the Lord's fury upon y'all when y'all get caught up in it. Just the Lord's fury upon y'all. Alright? Therefore, hear now this, thou afflicted and drunken, but not with wine. Right? We're the afflicted one. And my people are drunk, but not, not with wine. With philosophy and other doctrines. That's what y'all are drunk with, philosophies and other doctrines. Understand? That's what y'all are drunk off your mind, man. If you ain't in another Islam or Buddhism, 
for democracy and Democrat Republicans, y'all are all caught up in that. Understand? Y'all are drunken off of these things, man. Understand? Verse 22, thus says the Lord, the Lord and thy power that pleadeth the cause of his people. Behold, I have taken out of, I've taken out of thine hand the cup of trembling, even the dregs of the cup of my fury. Thou shalt no more drink it again. For the Lord said, listen, the cup of our fury, the cup of our fury was, the cup of the Lord's fury was slavery. And we drunk of it, I read it earlier. We drunk of that, man. We drunk of the dregs of slavery, man. We were butchered here. Great, robbed, and slaughtered here. To this very day, ain't nothing changed. Ain't nothing changed. We still getting slaughtered. Still getting butchered. We still in bondage. Ain't nothing changed. All right, let's go to Lamentations. here it says thus saith the Lord this is uh, Isaiah 52 22 thus saith the Lord the Lord thy, the Lord and thy power that pleadeth the cause of his people behold I have taken out of thine hands the cup of trembling even the dregs of the cup of my fury thou shalt no more drink it again we are going to drink slavery again while it is accomplished we went through our punishment. Lamentations 4, 22. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. Right? But our punishment is accomplished. All right? We did our time. We did our time. Our punishment is accomplished. Right? He will no more carry thee away in captivity. Just like he said, this is the last captivity the Israelites going to ever be in. We ain't going in captivity no more ever again. Alright? We are again. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. Alright? Let's go back now. Isaiah 52, 23. But I will put it into the hand of them that afflict thee. For the Lord say, He's going to now put it in the head of them that afflict us, right? And who afflict us? The Edomites. Not only the Edomites, but all nations. For we were scattered throughout all nations. All nations have afflicted us. Understand? And now, they're going to drink of the drinks we have to drink. They're going to have to handle slavery like we handled it. Understand? But, but I will put it into the head of them which afflict thee, which have said to thy soul, bow down, that we may go over. And thou hast laid thy body at the ground and as the street to them that went over. So bottom line is, they walk all over us, man. All these heathens, they walk over us, man. They walked over the Israelites. Understand, y'all walked over us. All right, y'all walked over us. Now let's go into Lamentations 422 again. Picked up where I left off. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. So, the Lord said he will visit the iniquity of Edom. The Edomites, who you will call today the so-called white men. Right? What are, they, what are their iniquities, man? They put up their image as our Lord Yahweh Shai. Understand? They put themselves up in the power seat like they are the Lord. Understand? That's an iniquity. Right? They enslaved the Lord people. They raped, robbed, and butchered us. Understand? All their wickedness they're going to have to pay for. Breaking the most our Lord. Right? And and um, swearing on the swearing on the, the Lord's Bible. Understand? Give homosexual rights. When the Lord destroys Sodom and Gomorrah for an example. Y'all give homosexual rights to marry and all that. Understand the Lord wanna visit you for these 
these things, man. All right? He will visit thy iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sin. Let's go to Ezekiel 35. 